Greetings, Keishlings. Keishin Prime here with my live reaction of Dragon Ball Super, Chapter 27. Life Training and... Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> okay, Vegeta and Goku on the front cover. Universe 7, Earth. It's funny that they now have to actually specify it as Universe 7, since Super is now multi-universal. Uh Oblivious to the intense battle with Zamas. Shouldn't there be a U in there? Uh, everyone's lives continued peacefully. It's kind of funny. It's like how much of the world ever really knows what the hell's going on. Uh, be it that like the Dragon Ball universe is like one giant supercontinent, so they're probably a bit more connected. But yeah, so interesting bit that this was before the internet was even really a thing. Hmm. Worldwide broadcast? <laughs> yeah. See you around. Thanks. Have a good day. Okay, Goku's there loading up on vegetables or he can drive now. Holy shit. <laughs> I thought he failed his driving you know I think Piccolo could drive, and Goku failed his test. But both of them were very reckless. La di la, la di da. God, he is driving way too fast. Oh, isn't that the latest air truck model? Air truck. In a backwaters town like this? Oh, someone broke down the side of the road. Need help? Yeah. This is a weird start to this chapter. Can I hitch a ride to the nearest station? No problem, hop in. Thanks. I'm confused. Wait. Those are bandits. Uh, this is all a ploy, wasn't it? Look at that truck. You don't see fancy models around here. Guess it's our lucky day. Hey you, get out of the truck and scram. <laughs> oh god, you picked on probably one of the worst people to pick on. Huh? What? You know, even as a child he could withstand bullets. What what is Goku a comp or capable of now against conventional weaponry? Does it even leave a dent? Does he even get hurt? Like, ouch, that hurt. Was that a fly? Or a mosquito? <laughs> huh, what? We're bandits. That's our truck now. Bandits? I don't think that's a good idea to take bandits to the station. Oh, Goku, you're stupid. No, we already told you we were taking your truck. Give me the key already. Is this guy an idiot? Oh, so you're trying to steal it. That's right, you finally get it. Boss, check this out. This Gullwing is the newest model. Oh, now it's a Gullwing all of a sudden. We've hit the jackpot. We're gonna be rich. Awesome. Today's our lucky day. Gahaha. <laughs> Even Goku's laughing. Ha ha ha. And they're like, what was he laughing about? Hmm? What's so funny? Bulma gave me this truck, so I work harder. I can't afford to give it to you guys. Hmm. You don't understand the situation here at all. What an idiot. Oh, he's rearing up his fist like you're really going to be able to punch Goku. Let me teach you what happens when you try to go up against us. Take this! And Goku's like, yep, I stopped you. Tap. <laughs> They're like, ooh stupid people. How do people not know who Goku is at this point? He just goes Boop, and just, good lord, how far away did he go? Ooh, he hit the other truck. <laughs> uh, b boss, you bastard. Okay, he just flung your boss with one finger, really. And you think guns are probably going to really do much against it. Well, I guess in normal real life that would probably still be effective, but how do they not know who Goku is? <laughs> And he's just kicking their ass real quick like took out one it breaks the barrel on the other gun go get a job instead of pulling stunts like this ah I guess I'm not one to talk <laughs> I was about to say is this is a little hypocritical of you I'll show you you're pulling out another gun the first one didn't work buddy but you know futility and it's entirety there. Die! He caught the bullets. <laughs> and your dumb face. 
Oh, he fired five bullets. I think he only had one more shot in that guy. Oh no, he's a monster. And you didn't realize that already. Shoot, he left his buddies behind. What should I do? Throw them in the back of the truck and just leave them. Huh? Looks like I'm getting out of shape. Oh, one bullet actually did hit him, it looks like. I should get back to training, but I promised Chi Chi that I'd work. How is he not... Why does he even need a tractor? I mean, just kind of Kai beam blast like a mile at a time or be like down on like that level with the ground and just go <laughs> and there you you plow for miles <clears throat> oh you sure have, you sure I can have this much oh he turned them into the cops of course these two were wanted criminals with bounties on their heads wait there was three of them wasn't there now, there was three guys. Why is he only got two bounties then? I'm sure Chi Chi will let me go back to training if I show her all of this money. Thanks, man. All right. Here it is. It's the communication device I got from Weiss. Hey, Weiss. You didn't even talk to Chi Chi yet. You irresponsible, stupid man. Sheen. It's not responding. Yo, can you hear me? You in bed? Come on. I need to get back to training. And some of the cops nearby are like, what is he talking to that, like, badge for? Even though you would think in the Dragon Ball universe, like, technology is so far advanced that even odd things should be normal to them, but, uh, I mean, hell, how many times has their nearly been destroyed? Almost nothing should phase these people. Oh. Wait. Oh, Whis is in a training session with Vegeta, and he left his staff sitting on the shore. Take this! Yes, that's my best Vegeta voice. God damn it, Nappa. Yeah, you're getting better, Vegeta. Your moves are getting sharper. Uh, and look, there's Beerus just yawning on the shore. Why does it seem like he always has, like, this chair or something nearby? Yawn, I'm bored. Oh, look, there's the fortune teller fish thing. Ah! Oh. Yep. After image. Why is Vegeta even shocked from some of this anymore? Oh, coming in with a back chop. Oh, but he sensed it. I got you. Oh, nope. After image again. Correct. You did well. Oh, but he actually did turn around to punch. Wait. I'm. Oh, the after image was the one that was attacking. Never mind. Either I'm not following this very well, or they're really getting fast on the sensing. You did well. You've grown as a warrior, Vegeta. Hm. I don't need your compliments. What's up with him? He's more into this than usual. It must be because Son Goku was stronger than him during the battle with Zamas. Zamasu. They're saying it is Zamas. It's a stupid rivalry. Not worth my time. Oh, and that was actually the fish that said that. About Goku being stronger. Okay, this is enough. I'm going to bed. Beerus, how much do you actually sleep, dude? Yawn. Your, your prophecies that have, would have become, or that they would become my strongest rivals was exaggerated after all. They will. They'll be your strongest rivals. <clears throat> Those two? Yep. My rivals. Yep. <clears throat> Wait, is the thing on his back? Tuh. Hey, Vegeta. Hey, that got him to stop. I can tell you've made a lot of progress. Oh, Lord Beerus, I thought you'd taken a break. I've changed my mind. So how about we go at it again? What? How unusual. You should do it, Vegeta. Very well, I accept. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Because they've never... Well, I think him and Goku both kind of like sparred with Beerus together simultaneously. So him going one-on-one, -on -one, I don't think is anything we've seen before, is it? It's been a few years. I'm not the same as I was before. Wait, what does he mean by a few years? Like, what? Was there a time skip and I'm just not aware? At any chance, did you say something to Beerus? 
Yes, I said there's two Saiyans, or the, those two Saiyans will become his rivals one day. Ah, uh, so that's why. Okay, he's gone Super Saiyan Blue. Super Saiyan Blue. Bring it on, Vegeta. Okay, Vegeta comes in with a punch. Beerus blocks one-handed. I see, the moment of impact was indeed magnificent. My hand even shook a bit. Oh, you taunting motherfucker cat. Eh, however, your transformation is just a mere power-up from Super Saiyan God. That's not enough to reach my level. Eh, probably not. And they threw him back. He kind of caught his balance a bit. Eat this! Okay, not a name. I that's the thing I don't like about Dragon Ball in in general is like when they do just non-named energy attacks. I don't know if we're just supposed to figure out what they're using or what. I would like named attacks, thank you. <laughs> but anyway, Beerus just bats it away. Vegeta comes in from the back. He dodges it though. Damn it! No nope. quick kicks. Beerus is dodging. He is a cat after all. He's very dodgeful. <laughs> Just like cats dodge every sense of what you would think they might have responsibility for. They're just like, meow. Fuck off. <laughs> I didn't break that vase. Where's my litter box? Or some shit like that. Does Beerus have a litter box? Anyway, back to the series. I get sidetracked this time. Ah, okay. Weird gymnastics there Vegeta's going in for a punch that weird position and <laughs> expression Beerus had there oh he whipped him with his tail hmm did it get longer hmm nice skidding across the rock or the water like a rock huh that was surprisingly quick <laughs> bravo, bravo. oh he's coming out of the water what's this want to go again he closed his eyes is he either focusing or is he realized his defeat uh, oh he's gone into super saiyan god but yeah that's the same form goku used when did you learn how to do that wait how did they not know that <laughs> oh if kakarot can do it so can i <laughs> this is exciting. Let's continue. How did he accomplish that form? I mean, be it that he's he's not that pure at heart, but he's definitely come a long way from it. So I'd say he's at least 75% good. <laughs> Maybe 80. His pride is what holds him back. Which I guess isn't fully evil, but it is one of the seven deadly sins, and I don't, I don't know. And he's a bit wrathful at times. So I'd say 75% to 80. That he's good. But he would still need everyone, you know, of the Saiyans to, you know, collect around him and give their energy. Which I guess Goku might do it. Gohan probably would. Trunks would. Goten. But I mean, they would have to get Videl in there too because of the baby. Which. Like, Pan's been born yet, but still, they have to deal with the baby. You try and get that baby to hold still for five minutes. <laughs> Plus a super-powered baby. I don't know, I'm on a tangent this week, or this month. Okay, Bear strikes his forearm. He's actually doing a lot better than he did the first time, take that. High jump kick from Beerus. Swung around fist by Beerus. Vegeta does a little smirk. They back off. You've improved a bit, but I wonder how long you'll last. Okay, goes in for a punch, but oh, Beerus jumps out of the way. Glare. Swoo. Okay, rapid fire punches and blocks. Ah. Tuh. It appears Vegeta has complete control over Super Saiyan Blue. I suppose Goku is no longer ahead of him. Super Saiyan Blue. Shouldn't that be Super Saiyan God? Because that's the form he's in right now. Is Beerus fighting seriously? 
no, it's still playing, or no, he's still playing around, but I believe it's about time he got serious. It would be troublesome if he got hit and lost his temper. I don't want that either. He's unpredictable when he's angry. Would he destroy his own little planet? <laughs> You're mine! Oh, that face on Barris. <laughs> oh! And then a punch in the face for Barris. Uh. Oh! Ah! Oh, he doesn't look happy. Got you! He did it! He sure did. Is Barris going to kill him now? Nope, he grabbed his fist. You. Don't get cocky. Oh boy, the scared face of Vegeta. Whis, create a bear before he gets out of control. Will do. Oh shit, he doesn't have his staff. Oh, did I drop my scepter somewhere? Hey. Oh, well, there went a massive explosion. Probably bears. Goodness, that was big. I hope his staff wasn't caught up in that. You got carried away while I was going easy on you. Okay, he's pinned Vegeta down into the crater that he's made. Damn it, at this rate, it'll take you a million years to become my rival. Well, I'll give you points for improving so quickly. You could probably be a candidate for a god of destruction in another universe. Whis, fix this mess, as you wish. He still doesn't have a scepter, so can he even do that? Damn. We jumped down into the, uh, the crater. You don't have to feel this sting of defeat, Vegeta. You did very well. I'm no match for him, after all. What did you expect? After all, your opponent is the god of destruction of this universe. I can tell that you still think first and move later. Oh, damn bugs. Uh, doing that is limiting. It will take some time for your brain and senses to get your body to move how you want. You must be able to let every single part of your body judge and act on its own, and that's very difficult. Even Lord Beerus hasn't mastered it. Oh, that's interesting. Once I master it, I'll be able to take on any enemy? That's what you're saying, right? Indeed. Okay, this is interesting. and Nice development there. That means I still have a long way to go. Kakarot and I are equals, but we are far from reaching our full potential. As long as I know, or as long as I know that, that's all I need. I'm the one who will get to the top first. I'm sick of following after him. I see. So that's what you were referring to. Well then, starting tomorrow, shall I increase your train our time for training? No, I'll save the next session for another time. Itchy nose. Sorry, but I need you to take me back to Earth. Is something wrong? I won't uh, be coming back here for quite a while. For a while? Hey, Weiss. <laughs> oh, I thought that was Beerus in the background, but no, the, the little fish. I found your scepter. Someone was trying to reach you. Oh, yes. I wonder who's calling me. Is that going to make Vegeta want to stay? Hello, who are you? Hello, who are you? you how can you not tell? Goddamn, angel tech must not be all we think it is. There you are. Whis, it's me, Goku. Oh, Goku, how many people can even contact him? How can I help you? It's been a while, but I wanted to ask you to train me again. That's fine. So, what are you pl or what are you bringing me this time? I got some daifuku for you. Ah, uh, I could make a One Piece reference, but meh. Daifuku. It sounds bold yet scrumptious. It's really delicious and classy. <laughs> I'm at Bulma's right now. I thought we could invite Vegeta too. Can we meet up here in an hour? Oh, Vegeta's already here with me, huh? That's cheating. He was training without me. Let me join you guys then. But Vegeta's about to leave. What? How come? Why are you leaving, Vegeta? It's almost time for it to be born. It? You're talking about your daughter bra like that. Really? Vegeta, I thought you'd come a long way, but I'm starting to think, oh, he's down to 70 good. 70% <laughs> good. Huh? A birth. 
Sorry, I kept you waiting. Wait, how much time has passed since the last arc? Because <laughs> she was not that fat. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I kept you waiting. Welcome back, Goku. Thanks for coming to see me. What's with that belly? You're eating too much. Goku, you, you, you literally have two chip. Well, I guess he, he was only there for the one. But... Yeah, but still, Goku knows nothing about human life or normal life. <laughs> it's train, 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 kill, 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 die, die, die. Yeah. What's up with that belly? You're eating too much. What? So you came here for something else? I told you already, I'm expecting a second kid. Huh? Oh, right. Yeah, you did say something about that. So he's talking about your baby, huh? <laughs> oh, boy. One hour later, and there comes Beerus. Do they make a crater every time they arrive? Hey, Whis. Thanks for waiting. Now let's get going. Brought Vegeta with him. Vegeta, why are you leaving? Can't you tell? I'm looking at Balma. She's going... Or, can't you tell by looking at... Oh, I thought he said he was looking at her. <laughs> I misread that. And she's going to give birth any day now, and I need to stay with her. Well, he's become a good father. I mean, at least he understands childbirth, unlike Goku. <laughs> Why? You're not the one giving birth? How stupid are you? If I leave to go training now, she'll never forgive me. Okay, so it's more out of that than anything. Why do you care? Look at me. I don't even know when Gohan and Goten were born. How do you not know when Gohan was born? Okay, now you really are shitty father of the year, aren't you? I may not be a bad person. But you're a horrible father. Or you may not be a hor or bad person, but you're a horrible father. Huh? Maybe I'm not familiar enough with Earth customs to understand this. Anyway, let's get going, shall we? <laughs> Weiss just wants to get out of there. Eh, don't blame me if I get way stronger than you, okay? Just go already. By the way, do you have that delicacy called Daifuku with you? Yeah, of course. Excellent. Look forward to eating. Okay, they just zoomed off. I'm definitely correct here. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. That's something that Vegeta will probably always have over Goku. While he's a stern father, at least he does care well enough. I mean, he's there at least for one of his kids because he kind of didn't even recognize Trunks for a long time. They're both bad fathers to an extent. <laughs> yes, this is good. So this is Daifuku, and even the fish is eating it, right? What an uh, elegant taste. All right, let's get started when we're done eating. Please give us a moment. You must take a long time to enjoy a, me a fine meal. I'm out of shape from always working in the field. I know it's not demanding work considering your normal training, but it still shouldn't make you that weak, should it? You're going to give me a more advanced lesson today, right? What? Come on, don't fool around. You know what I'm talking about. Slow and steady wins the race. Consistency is what makes you stronger in the end. Aw, oh, man. I'm gonna start over again from basics. <laughs> Now that I'm full, I really am going to take that nap. And Beerus just leaves. Wait, Beerus, before you go, we should talk about that promise we made with the Lord of Everything. Promise? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fighting tournament across all the universes. Forget that nonsense. Hey, but it sounds really exciting. It's going to decide which universe is really the strongest. I want to set a goal before I train, at least that... Let's make a schedule before you go to sleep. We don't need to do something like that. Oh, he's got the button out. Look, the Lord of Everything gave me this switch. I can see him any time with this. Maybe I should go ask him. You fool. I'm not joking around. Don't bother the Lord of Everything anymore. How many pages are left in this chapter? Oh, I'm literally like at the second to last one. Why? I'm only asking about the tournament. I wouldn't recommend that either. You never know what'll happen with him. 
is something really scary going to happen? Wait, this is the universal survival arc setting up, isn't it? No, the lord of everything himself is what's scary. Hmm? I don't think he's that bad. Look at how adorable his face is. You fool, don't get carried away. Yeah, he's kind of a w childlike, yet all-powerful. Not a good combination. You must be very careful. Oh, now they're calling him Zeno. Zeno-sama is surely proud, or pure of heart, but his pureness is what makes him so scary. Please remember that he has the power to annihilate this entire universe. It's just a tournament. It'll be fine. I am his friend, after all. Don't get cocky. This side brings me to, or brings him to me, and this one takes me to him. Which one should I choose? I would think it would be best to go to him. Really? Don't do it. I'm telling you again. Don't press that button. Too late. Click. Up. <laughs> uh, oh, he teleported to him. Goodness, he really did it. That idiot. This is definitely going to be bad. Okay. I probably took way too long to read that chapter, but I had a lot of speculations and weird thoughts. So sorry about that. But hey, maybe you had fun listening to my rambles. But anyway. Okay. It was kind of an okay chapter. I'll give it a 3.5 to be honest. But hey, the next couple should be pretty good, right? I mean... Universal Survival Arc, I'm pretty sure is what it, because I think it was mentioned towards the end of last month's chapter, so it should be good. I know they're non-canonical to the anime, but still, I, I've not, I'm not really that caught up with the anime. <laughs> I don't, I don't like sub. I prefer dubs to subs, if I can help it. But anyway, good chapters, nice setup. We see the how bad Goku is as a father. Yet again, Father of the Year Cup, he is not winning. Vegeta only wins slightly. But anyway, good chapter. I still wonder how much time has passed because I mean Bulma was not like that that I remember and now she's due any day now. Can't wait to see the birth of Raw. Anyway, Thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Keyshlings, roll out.